Hi everyone, it's uh, great to be able to take this opportunity to answer some of your questions. I really appreciate uh, you taking the time to send some in. I uh, really appreciate your passion and enthusiasm for Cal football. Always nice to be able to, uh, to tell you really what's going on and any concerns that you have and, and be able to kind of uh, just visit with you a little bit about uh, some of the questions. So we'll start off with Christopher Wu. Is the team taking any special preparations in terms of traveling and to be acclimatized in advance for the trip to Ohio State? And the answer to that is yes. We're, we always uh, make sure we want to acclimatize our bodies a couple days in advance, but we're going to take the opportunity to fly out to Ohio State on a Thursday. Uh, we don't feel so rushed that way. One of the great things, though, is we moved uh, to practicing in the morning. Uh, every morning, so we're on the field by 8:20 every morning. Obviously, with a nine o'clock kickoff, um, you know, is a little bit of a challenge. But the way we practice, the times that we practice, and to be able to acclimatize our body uh, clocks starting on Wednesday before that game uh, should take care of that preparation for us. So appreciate that question uh, from Richard Wallace. When will the team be able to practice at Memorial Stadium? And any truth to the rumor that the visiting locker room at remodeled Memorial Stadium is nicer than the old one? Uh, hoping to get into our stadium uh, somewhere around August 10th. And they're working really, really hard uh, at, at finishing the stadium. It's going to be game ready uh, for our first game on the 1st. Uh, but we hope to get in there on August 10th, uh, somewhere between August 10th and August 17th. That way we'll have at least a couple of weeks to be able to get used to our field and, and the new surface that we're putting in there. Really excited about the new surface. It's the same one that's uh, at uh, Cowboy Stadium. And so really excited to, to get out there and get used to that. Uh, the second question about the visitor's locker room, uh, did, is it better than the old one? The answer to that is absolutely yes. That doesn't say much though, because uh, uh, the old one was probably the worst in the conference, maybe the nation. So. Um, we, we couldn't keep it the same, and, uh, but um, you know, it's, it's going to be split up a little bit for the team, uh, for the visiting team down there, but it, it, will, be, uh, it will be nice and, and a big uh, step forward from the, from the old locker room. Uh, a question from Will. Uh, will we install more no huddle so that it puts the defense on its heels? Uh, yes, we always have uh, some of the no huddle procedures that are involved and probably do more than we ever have before. Uh, we won't be uh, solely a no-huddle team, but we will, uh, we will be able to, to get in and out of tempos and really try to uh, dictate to the defense the pace of the game. Uh, David Rodriguez, Coach, how, are we, how will we be changing our approach to special teams? Will we disregard the infamous rugby spread punt? Um, no, our, our punt game will stay the same. Will it be a spread punt? Uh, the ways that we will use the rugby punt really is from week to week to try to change the pocket so people can't, can't try to get after you um, and, and block punts. This year will be a little bit different because they changed the rule. The, the people that are in front of the punter are called the shield, and you cannot leap the shield anymore to try to block the punt. So that will allow us to protect a little bit better inside uh, because people won't be hopping over the, the shield. But the rugby punt uh, every now and then is, is an effective way to do it. Uh, you also really limit returns from that and you have the ability for maybe a ball when it's on the ground to hit an opponent and get a, create a turnover uh, with the rugby punt. So we will still do that. Some of the other special teams things that, that we have to be strategic about is the kickoff, uh, moving the kickoff up to the 35 yard line. And so we really have to, to manage whether we're gonna try to kick it out of the end zone or try to just kick it to the goal line and go down there and cover, cover it where we can pin them inside the 20 yard line. So that will be uh, from time to time, we will change our philosophy on that. Uh, Mark Blanco, uh, any plans to put EC and CJ in the backfield at the same time to create mismatch, mitch, mismatch issues for the defense? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we did a lot of that in the spring. Uh, C.J. Anderson really brings us a versatile player there. He's big enough and strong enough to be able to block. He's, he's a very, very good receiver. We can spread him out and, and put him into the passing game. 
And then obviously he's a very good runner with the football. So his versatility really allows us to put those, those two guys back there and uh, create a little bit more uh, diversity and mismatches for the defense. Anthony Bacari, any plans to create a more hostile atmosphere this season? Uh, more music video hype. Um, really, that's up to marketing. Marketing takes care of, of what goes on on game day. Uh, I know our players would love that. Um, you know, if we could have a gold out or to, to, to play music, we always do that in pregame. Uh, but it's something we really need to get the crowd energized. There's no doubt that being out of the Memorial Stadium for a season, uh, we really, really miss being home. Uh, even though it was uh, great playing at AT&T and they did a great job of making us feel welcome there, there's no place like home. And we can't wait to get back in Memorial Stadium with the energy and the excitement of our crowd. Sarah Moorhead, can you comment on the progress of quarterback Alan Bridgeford? Uh, yeah, Alan had a great spring. Uh, unfortunately, Alan over time here has been injured. He had a shoulder operation which really set him back. But this spring he was healthy. He did a great job. Very knowledgeable guy, student of the game, understands our offense. And so really, really feel great about uh, his growth and development at the quarterback position and uh, had a great spring ball, like I said, and have a lot of confidence that he could be the guy to go in there and lead us to victory. So uh, Allen's doing great. Taylor Jane, what impact do you see new tight end Harrison Wolfley making this season? Uh, well, Harrison uh, is a guy who's been out of football a couple years because of his mission, but uh, is a very, very physical young man. Can't wait to get on the practice field with him. Didn't have him in spring ball, so Really excited about uh, him being here with our program. Very physical. I know he's going to bring uh, a chemistry at that tight end position to be able to block. He's also very athletic and catches the ball well. So really excited to see him grow in our offense as we get to camp. He's here this summer and he's part of the workout program. So um, I look for him to, to make a positive contribution to the team. Brian Metzler, how much do you think the new facilities will help with, with recruiting? Uh, I think it, uh, it will be a, a, a great help for us. Um, we've been, we've been kind of at a disadvantage for many years here because of kind of the, the so-called arms race with facilities. Um, there's no doubt that we were really behind the curve with that. But uh, now that we have this great facility, I, I think it's an awesome place. So now when you combine the education, uh, quality degree here at Cal that, uh, that the young men get, also with uh, a very competitive football program, the ability to, to compete for championships and uh, play in this great environment here in the Bay Area. Quality of life is awesome. And now uh, with the facilities, uh, it's, uh, it's a great place to be. I know our players are very appreciative of the new facility and our fans are going to be fired up for it. And I know recruits when they come in here will be very impressed with it. So. Uh, that will do it for today. We'll do this again. I, uh, I apologize for any questions I wasn't able to get to, uh, but we'll do this on a consistent basis. And I really look forward uh, to getting your questions and being able to communicate with you. So um, have a great one. Go Bears.